This is the Baby Bat Chat, a tier 9 French light tank. And you know what? It is a beautiful, beautiful tank. But it is a tricky tank. And a lot of players, especially newer players and less experienced players, really, really struggle in this thing. And I must admit, hand on heart, I am one of those players. Because the Bat Chat sort of has this hold over you, which we'll talk about later. That got me thinking. If so many players struggle in this tank, is there a way that this tank can be played whereby you're more successful? Well, I think there is, and that is the purpose of this video. Because, you know, if you can get to have some success in this tank, it's a beautiful, fun tank to roll out in. And that's the whole idea, to have some fun. So let's get into this. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to be looking at this tank, the little baby bat chat, the tier 9 French light tank. I mean it's a fun tank, it's a beautiful tank and it's a fantastic tank but a lot of people do do struggle in it, especially if you're not a super duper unicorn or a pro player. So how does this French nipper stack up towards the other lights in its tier? Well as you can see here it says here that the DPM is not that great compared to the Vickers, but it's better than the T92, which is hardly surprising. Penetration is not too bad, to be fair. Alpha damage, well, that's per shot. Don't forget, you get three shots, so it's quite good. Rate of fire is, well, it's poor, but then again, it is an autoloader. Aim time is not too bad. I mean, it's, on average, a good tank. But you can see there the win rate sort of belays that so looking at the damage you've got 310 per shot that's a lot of damage on a clipper let's be fair i mean it's a tier 9 light tank hit points are okay but you can see there's no armor it's got zero armor and we'll get to that in a moment view range is pretty decent camo is pretty decent because it's a light dpm is okay for a tier 9 light tank and the average, as I said, the damage output and the penetration isn't too bad at all, considering you've got three shells in your magazine. And of course, being a light tank, it's pretty nippy. I mean, 60 odd kilometers an hour is pretty, pretty funky. Even with the tier nine gun, I mean, sorry, even with the lower gun, I mean, this is the top gun that we're looking at now, and you can see the penetration and the damage output is pretty decent along with the load time and well the load time does suck a little bit but it's nothing to rise on back it's manageable put in the bottom gun and you can see here that your load time goes up your aiming time is better it's improved but your damage and everything goes down thing is i mean it's a light tank guys i mean it, it's not meant to be giving out oodles of damage this is the equipment I run with it, just uh, these are the consumables. I run it with a double repair kit and a speed boost. The reason being, well, I don't bother with the fire extinguisher at the end of the day. This is the other thing I run it with, improved fuel gives me that extra speed and mobility. I then have the protective kit because you need it, I think. And then I have the crew skills because I just want them to work a little bit harder. Just my personal, per personal preference. My ammo loadout for this little beast is, well, basically that. And the equipment I use, while well, I always run calibrated shells, I don't really struggle with the, the, the load time. I run the improved outfits, the, the defense system, the enhanced alert, gun laying device. I put the additional HP on it because there's no point giving me an extra 4% of my haul. I give it the engine accelerator and the refined, oh, sorry, the vertical stabilizer. I mean, that's basically what I run it with. Armor-wise, well, it's paper thin. I mean, it's a light tank, and every man and his dog is going to pen you. Let's not kid ourselves here. You will get a few troll bounces on occasion. I mean, this is it facing off against an IS-4, but then I stick it in and compare it against an IS-3, and there's no difference. I mean, anybody knows you hit this with a well-placed HE round, and you're going to give it some damage unless you hit the tracks or the gun barrel. The thing about this tank that a lot of people struggle with is its mobility because this is where the bat chat has this hold on you and everybody seems to turn into a yolo monster and you know what i used to be one of those the mobility on this thing is fantastic you are able to run around the battlefield like a bag of mad cats i mean it is a really fun tank but you've got to give it some tlc and as you can see, see here with this uh, 
with the Crown Valgan. It's not struggling to pen. I mean, it's a beautiful little tier nine. And once you get it into your head to be careful with it and not to yellow everywhere, you're gonna have a good, good time. And it's not realistically a tank that you really should struggle in, to be fair. And people struggle in it because, as I said, they generally tend to yellow. So this is me going out in a couple of games. Here we are on Falls Creek, and I'm going to go towards the ACAP because I want to get those spots if possible. As you can see, it takes quite a while for all three shells to load when you've got the big gun in. But the mobility is beautiful. I mean, it's got me there in super quick time, barely an inconvenience, me getting there. I'm going to drop into the cap. I didn't spot anything. And don't forget the view range on this tank is pretty nice. So if anything was going to come, I would have spotted it. As I said, a lot of people tend to YOLO in this thing. And if you YOLO in this thing with the lack of armor that it's got, you really are going to be back in the garage sooner rather than later. So you've got to play it slightly conservatively. And this is where a lot of people struggle, not only in this tank, but in the majority of tanks. I mean, go back to the FV4202 that I review video that I did the other day, and same, same. I mean, it's a great tank, that's a medium, but again, a lot of people struggle in it because of its lack of armor. And as you can see here, I am tentatively moving forward. I'm not rushing down there. Only fools rushing, guys. And if you're in a baby bat chat, you're the bigger fool if you start rushing in because you're just gonna get wasted the gun is fantastic okay it will struggle to pen some tanks like that wz because that is a monster monster armored td it, i'm just hitting the tracks but i do like the gun on the baby bat chat it's a nice gun it's got pretty accurate uh it's, it is pretty accurate sorry it's got good penetration pretty decent alpha damage considering you've got those three shells. Now, I'm going to sit here, and it's got no gun depression to mention. It, it really has zero gun depression. It's got good gun elevation, however. And this is what you sort of need in a, in, in a light tank like this. You need more elevation than depression. Why? What's the use of having gun depression? You've got no armor. <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. The idea is spot them, get out of dodge, snipe them, do peekaboo, circle of death, and all that kind of stuff. The idea is not to frontline this tank, and if you're one of those players who likes frontlining in this thing, then more for you, because you're really going to get hurt. Using its mobility, you can flank around the back of tanks quite, quite easily. And as you can see here, I'm going to give this Action X a hard time, boom, there he goes. Now I'm going to push onto the ST, he's going to get a shot into me, I'm going to get a shot into him, and his turret is so slow that I am just able to run a little circle around him get me out of the danger zone and basically push me back onto him and look at this i mean he is he just can't get that turret round quickly enough to hurt me okay i've got a bit of a bounce there which was really annoying but this is how i generally try to play the bat chat in these type of scenarios you know getting into good positions uh, keeping myself out of the danger zone while I'm loading, not exposing myself, not frontlining, trying to find those isolated tanks and giving them a lot of pain, but looking at my exit once my uh, magazine is emptied, like I did with the ST1 just then. Same I'm going to do with the IS3, I'm going to put a shot into him, I bounce, put another shot into him on my side, I'm going to keep moving around knowing his turret is pretty slow and he is now gone. WZ is last, so I don't want to go anywhere near him. He's got a big derpy gun that's going to really hurt me, especially if he loads HE. So I'm just going to back away, waiting for my magazine to load. Once it's loaded, then I can make my move. I'm going to go up there. He's probably going to get a shot into me, but I've got the hit points. The idea now is to just take him out, aim for the bottom plate. I miss. Not to worry, he's now on a reload. I'm not. I've got two left. One more into his bottom plate should seal the deal. And it does. We take, what, three kills? We didn't do a lot of damage, 2,300. But we had fun. We worked our way around the map. We got some decent credits. And we got a second class. And this is the thing about the bat chat. As you can see, they fired 17 shots, 15 hit, 12 penetrated. And two were just wild. So, this is the last game I'm now on. 
Desert Sands, and I'm heading towards that A cap. I've already checked out the team composition, so I generally know what I'm going to expect around here. I'm not top tier. Uh, it's a tier 9, tier 10 game, but there's only two tier 10s. And automatically, there is the T62. Get a shot into him. Try him back away, because there's another bat chat there. I don't want to overexpose too much. The T62 is infatuated with me, so I, I sort of want to narrow him down. He is now in a bad position, so I am able to sort of get out of dodge a little bit with my mobility, turn the gun back round, try and get... See, this is where you struggle with the gun depression. Try and get a shot into the bat chat. There we go. We get a nice shot into the bat chat. Now I need to get out of dodge again. And remember what I did with the ST? I circled around them. Well, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to sit behind here, knowing that they can't get shots onto me. Wait for my magazine to reload. Then bang, one into the bat chat. Two maybe, take him down. No, we leave him on next to no hit points, but we can circle him. There he goes. Now I'm going to give the T62A the run around because my mobility is much better than his. And he's going to struggle on the move to get a good shot into me. I'm waiting for that magazine to reload all the time, not getting stationary, moving away. Then I move back into him, take one shot from him, but I can get all my clip into him. There we go. He is a one shot now. I've got one left in the clip. I'm just going to go straight over the top and basically take him down. Here we go. And there he goes. Two tanks down. We did okay there. I mean, we take out their bat chat, their light tank, and we take out their T62A, which is a tier 10 medium. We escaped with, okay, we lost, you know, over half our hit points, but we're going to take a base, and we've already whittled down two of their tanks. So we're now in a pretty, pretty good position. What I'm now going to do, I'm now going to play it safe, and I'm going to go around the flank. A lot of people wouldn't do this, go straight through the middle. I'm not going to do that. There's a lot of big tanks down there that are going to hurt me. So I want to use my camo profile as much as, prof as much as possible, get down the flank side of this map and try and get the shots into the bigger tanks. Now there's an E100. I want to come up onto him. He's not going to see me until I fire. Can I get a shot in? Yes, I can. And I get his tracks. Can I get another one in? Yes, I can. What about his third time a charm? No, because somebody else killed him. But we did pretty okay there. Now there's only one tank left. Get a shot into him. Somebody else is going to finish him off because I just don't have the reload. We've done just over 3,000 damage. We've taken two kills. We've capped a base. And that pretty much is a decent game. Another second class. Some more decent amount of credits. Second top damage. I enjoyed that. And that's how I play the Bat Chat. Or the Baby Bat Chat. The little Tier 9 Frenchie. I've been Fujit. That has been my Tier 9 French Light Tank of the Bat Chat video. By all means, comment in everything below. If, if I'd like to say a big thank you to my YouTube members and Patreons. Because guys, without you, these videos would be a lot harder to make. But also to my subscribers. Because you know what? Without you, these videos would be pointless. If you only need some replays, wing them across to me, fujipsplits at gmail.com. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.